What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the newest Wolverine rumors coming from Daniel Rickman. This is actually an individual who's very much into the movie rumors and leaks, and we'll talk a bit about him as we go, but I first want to go over what he said, and it's not all that surprising and more or less just reaffirms what we've either believed or, in some cases, what we have expected from this game in terms of the tone, the setting, etc. So let's go over what he said first. First, and then again, we'll talk about the believability and all that jazz. So a couple of different parts. Number one, he talks about that the game will not be released in 2024. It's going to be 2025. He says it'll feature a darker and more violent tone than the past games from the studio. And it'll be set in Madripoor, to which they explain what that is. And that's it. So pretty darn short, you know, Insider Gaming did a pretty good write up on it. And Look, this guy is very believable. He gets a ton of stuff, right? I always kind of have a, a bone to pick with him just in the sense that he once said that there were like 12 Pirates of the Caribbean projects being worked on to which we have received none of them. So he, I guess that is important because I'll never forget that just because of my connection to Pirates. And I don't think that's nitpicking. I think that's kind of an example of the guy gets a lot right. I He's kind of broken, maybe even some of like the Fantastic Four stuff, or he's all over the place with uh, the insider knowledge, right? But but he does get some stuff wrong. So if you want to say, well, no, I really believe this game's coming out in 2024, you are more than welcome to. Um, he is more right than he is wrong, so just to kind of throw that out there. But but again, this is not all that surprising. This, In terms of the setting, it's something that you can kind of infer or just expect. In terms of the kind of game it's going to be, right, dark and gritty, that's what we want. It's what we actually need. If they weren't going to do something like that, that'd be a huge red flag. And, you know, you know, honestly, I, I've always kind of stood up for that uh, side of things in the sense that I'm not all that worried. You know, you could look at Spider-Man and set it, obviously it's been a lot of Spider-Man games and even Ratchet and Clank came out in that era, right? Rift Apart. And you could say, well, you know, would they kind of bring Wolverine back down? Well, don't forget, these are the same, I mean, not everybody that works there, but this is the same studio, let's say, that brought you Resistance. Resistance, very dark, very gritty, actually devoid of all hope. That's kind of like in the second game, that's like the whole freaking point of it, right? So there is a, there is a culture there, at least there was and again depends on who's still there and who's not but they have definitely done this kind of stuff before and even if they bring 50 percent of that dark and gritty energy from resistance which by the way please bring that series back if they bring any of that over to wolverine we're more than set so i've i've never been worried about it in fact i've always kind of backed it up saying i know they're capable it's just if they'll do it and then this obviously backs that up and then the release year, not surprising, honestly, as things start to un unfold, and, and we've talked about this, you know, over the last couple months, really, right? The persistent rumor of another Spider-Man thing being in 2024. Look, if they do that, they're like the people that are upset. And I mean, again, like you can be upset. That's totally fine. But if you are upset about Wolverine, say not doing next fall, if that's the case, I don't think... It's Well, number one, I don't think it's that big of a deal just in the first place. I will patiently wait. But number two, I honestly don't think it's going to be a year empty of Insomniac things. I think Insomniac is going to be around because I do think whether it's a big DLC, much like an Icky Island or a Burning Shores thing for Horizon, right? Whether it's that or whether it's some, like, maybe one step higher than that, some sort of spinoff thing, I think we're going to get that from Spider-Man 2. So, Honestly, I think sometime in the fall of next year, like about a year after Spider-Man 2 is released, I think you're going to get that. And then I don't even really believe it'd be a full year after would we get Wolverine. I would look at 2025 kind of as like an open playbook and say I wouldn't be shocked if it came out in the spring, you know, like a February, March, April thing. I also wouldn't be surprised if it came out in the fall, September, October, November thing. Either one, either one. And uh, and it's not like it's going to be the only thing I imagine, I hope, that Sony would do in those years, right? So you don't have to have Insomnia carrying everything on their back, much like they have been <laughs> for a while now. But no, I mean, honestly, that's... That part is the least of my worries, again, mainly because I think next year we'll still have something. I think we'll have some Spider-Man game because if it's DLC or if it's a, you know, a Burning Shores-like thing that is still a game, right? We will have that. So we don't, I mean, do we need Wolverine with it? I mean, yeah, it would be nice, but I don't think we absolutely would need it. And, you know, let them do their thing. There's no point in rushing this thing out, right? I mean, like, you, because one of the first things that's going to come out from people, and I'm going to be paying attention to this as well, it cannot be too, too similar. It can't be like Spider-Man, but just with like a Wolverine coat of paint on it. And 
I f I'm not saying like if you rush it, that's what's going to happen, but that's going to be one of the first things people look at. Let them take their time. If this is truly like a unique, different, you know, original kind of obviously based off an IP, but if it's really that, they need time to let it, you know, fully develop uh, so that we get an amazing product. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure as always you're subscribed. Anytime we see this stuff, I'm always here to cover it. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next one.